Here is how you save battery life in iPhone, but first hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, it really helps me out, thank you. So the first thing is we will open settings, then we will look for the mobile service, we will select our SIM card if we have two SIMs, we will then go into the mobile data or voice and data option, and if 5G is on or set to auto, you want to try and set this to 4G or LTE. 5G drains an extreme amount of battery life in your iPhone, and a lot of the time, the 5G is actually slower than the 4G or LTE. So try 4G. If you are okay with it, sometimes it is faster, then keep this one because it will save a lot of battery. If you're in the UK like me, then you may want to set this to 5G Auto, as the 5G is faster than 4G by quite a bit, but if you can turn this one to 4G, you will save a lot of battery immediately. The second thing is we will head out of the data option, and we will look for the data mode. You want to set this to low data mode. If you set this to standard or allow more data, how this works, is all these background processes in your iPhone will refresh, they will reload, and they aren't essential. And these processes are going to drain the battery life very quickly. If you set this to low data mode, then when you are connected to Wi-Fi, this is when these background processes will refresh. This means when you're out of the house, then the battery drain will be less bad. And when you're at home, when you're next to a charger, when you're on Wi-Fi, that's when the background processes will refresh. The next thing we can change from a home page settings, we're going to scroll down and look for display and brightness. Then we will scroll to the very bottom. And if you have always on display, you may want to change the settings. So by default, this will drain around 1% of battery an hour, even though you're not using the phone. This is because it shows the wallpaper even though the phone is sleeped. So if you want to use always on display still, then just turn off the show wallpaper. When the screen is black, that means that part of the screen is off. This will save a ton of battery life already. If you want to save even more battery life, turn off the always on display entirely. On my personal iPhone, I just have always on display off, but that is because I have an Apple Watch. Do what's best for you. Next, from our homepage settings, we're going to scroll all the way down until we see privacy and security. Then we will select location services. Inside of this one, we're going to select the hidden secret system services option. Now, many of these system services are draining your battery without you knowing it. Some of these you may want to leave on. However, iPhone analytics, you know, you want to leave that one off under significant locations here. What this does is it tracks every location, you know, shows you where you are. This can be used by law enforcement and not in a good way. You definitely want to turn this one off. At the very least, turning this one off will save a lot of battery. These other options here, some say turn them on, some say turn them off. I'd recommend leaving the rest of these ones on because it does help out with the operating system functions. Next, from our home page settings, we're going to scroll all the way down until we see general. Then we're going to look for background app refresh. Inside of this one, if this is on, this doesn't mean that if you, you know, go to your home screen, go back into multitasking, the, the apps will just close out. What this means is your apps can download files in the background. Now, this will drain a lot of battery. So we're going to tap on background app refresh. And what I'd recommend doing is at the very least set this to Wi-Fi. So that means when you're home, you know, the battery drain, you may not be too worried. But if you're out, then it won't use your cellular data, which means you'll save data and that will also save the battery. We can turn this one off entirely if you want the best battery life. I personally set this to Wi-Fi. From our home page settings, we're going to scroll to the very bottom and select apps. Then we're going to look for the mail app. So we'll look for mail and select it. Inside of this one, 
the mail app is going to send requests every second to Apple servers. So we need to change that. You do this by selecting mail accounts. Then under fetch new data, select this option. And so it pushes on and set to automatically every single second, your iPhone is going to ping the email server, checking if there's a new email. This is going to drain a lot of battery. So what you can do for the maximum battery gain, you can set this to manually, but this does mean you won't get notifications when a new email shows up. It will only reload the email when you open the mail app. If you do need notifications, you can set this to every 15 minutes. And so instead of every single second, you're sending a request to Apple servers, it will do it once every 15 minutes. This will save a lot of battery. From our homepage settings, we're gonna head into the battery option and then we'll head into charging. This is available for newer iPhones and we have a charge limit. Now, while reducing the charge limit may not make sense in the short term, in the long term, this will increase the overall lifespan of the battery. When your iPhone is charged past 80%, it causes the battery to degrade faster. And as the battery degrades over time, it cannot hold as much total charge. If you set the charge limit to 80%, this slows down battery degradation. This may mean today your iPhone won't last as long. This does mean in one to two to three years, your iPhone will last longer compared to if you set this to 100%. Now, you may be not too happy by setting this to 80%. You, know, you may not be able to last an entire day using your iPhone. So instead, you may want to set this one to 90% or 95%. If this is causing too much issues, then you can always set this back to 100%. But just remember, after a couple of years, I would highly recommend that you do replace your battery. You get it replaced by Apple because if your battery health goes down too much, that will also cause a lot of battery drain. If you have maximum capacity of under 90%, that causes the excess heat excess battery drain. Finally, from the home page settings, we're going to go into the apps option. Then we're going to look for Safari. And inside of this one, we want to look for the closed tabs. So it's this one here. And so if this is set to manually, you may have hundreds, maybe even over a thousand tabs open in Safari. They're all preloaded in the background that's going to drain a battery life. If you set closed tabs to after one month, then you're not going to have too many tabs in the background that will help with battery. From Safari settings, scroll to the very bottom and look for advanced. And inside of this one, you're going to see where it says the advanced tracking and fingerprint protection. So now inside this one, if you set this to all browsing, this is going to block many of the trackers running in Safari. That means you'll save battery life while using the browser and also privacy preserving ad measurement. Now, if this one is on, you want to tap to turn that one off because this blocks the websites from tracking you at all. Instead of if this is on, they can track you, but it will, you know, preserve the privacy. One extra thing from home page settings. If you look for the App Store option, inside of this one, if you have app downloads, app updates, in-app contents on, well, what this is going to do is, you know, your Apple servers are gonna constantly ask, is there a new app update? Is there a new app download from another device? And so if these are on, you're gonna to wanna to turn this one off. This will save lots of battery. But do remember, if you do this one, you will have to manually open the app store in order to get the app updates. So you tap on app store, tap your profile, and then you can tap on the update button, you know, once a week, every now and then.